Hello, my name is Beth Dixon and this is a video series based on Vicki Borlaug's PowerPoint presentation on the complement rule and the phrase at least one. Thank you to Mrs. Borlaug for allowing me to use her PowerPoint to make this set of videos on the prob uh, excuse me on probability and the complement rule and the phrase at least one. This is part three of the video series and looking slightly ahead I know that I'll at least it looks like maybe I'll get done this time we'll have to wait and see it's always a guessing game on how many parts I have next is example number four we're still talking about the phrase at least one and we're talking about using the complement to do the phrase at least one. We don't want to have to draw the sample space and all the possibilities out every time we do the problem. So in this case, let's look at example number four, alarm clocks. The probability that a single battery powered alarm clock will work is 0.92. Emily plans to go to a very important interview. To be sure that she is awakened, she sets four of the battery-powered alarm clocks. What is the probability that at least one alarm clock works? For an individual clock, W means work, N means not work probability that it works 0.92 probability that it doesn't work would be 0 0.08 simply subtract from 1 we will use the complement of at least 1 which would be not at least one. Not at least one alarm clock works. Another way to say that would be that all the alarm clocks do not work. So again with her notation that Mrs. Borlaug uses Anytime we see the phrase at least one, in this case alarm clock works, we want to change that to the complement. One minus the probability not at least one works. And then rephrase the not at least one works into something we can figure out. The, what not at least one works means is that all do not work. Well, what's the probability that all four of the clocks do not work? Well, it'd be the first dozen, then the second, then the third, and then the fourth do not work. And for me, I put the parentheses first and draw out four parentheses because I know that there are four sets of battery powered alarm clocks. Then I go back and say, well, they're not working, so the probability that they're not working is the 0 0.08 and I fill that in and then I finish it by doing z one minus the parentheses 0 0.08 times 0 0.08 times 0 0.08 times 0 0.08. Um, you could also write that as 0 0.08 to the fourth power. But that gives us 0.9999 5904, which will be your answer. Here is a class activity number two. It is a good problem for you to try.
and I did finish this one up very quickly so thank you for watching this part three of the series um, on the complement rule and the phrase at least one. If you need some additional help, there is an a, at least one practice video that'll have a, another example and some practice, more practice problems. And as they say, practice does make perfect. And as always, if you're a Walter State student, please come by and see me in the math lab in MBS 222.